Welcome, I'm the Computer Lab teacher. In Microsoft PowerPoint, cut, copy, and paste may be the most popular ways to edit your text. To copy something, you need to select the information that you want to copy by clicking on the left side of your mouse and holding it down while dragging your mouse. Once you have your information selected, you can use your copy command, which is found on the Home tab in the Clipboard group. Or you can use your keyboard shortcut, Control C. Simply press your Control button on the keyboard and hold it down while pressing the letter C. Then let go of both keys. You can also click on the right side of your mouse and select the Copy command by left clicking with your mouse on Copy. Once you copy your information, you can paste it anywhere in your presentation. To paste your information, place your cursor where you want it to go. You can use your paste command, which is found on your home tab in your clipboard group next to the copy command. Or you can use your keyboard shortcut, Control V. Simply press your Control button on the keyboard and hold it down while pressing the letter V. Then let go of those keys. You can also click on the right side of your mouse and select the paste command by left clicking with your mouse. Copying will place the same information in your presentation as many times as you would like. You can also choose to cut text in your presentation. To select the information you want to cut, click on the left side of your mouse and hold it down while dragging your mouse. Once your information is highlighted, click on the cut command which is located on the home tab in the clipboard group. You will notice the cut command is a small scissor icon. You can also use your keyboard shortcut Control X. Simply press your control button on your keyboard and hold it down while pressing the letter X. Then let go of both keys. You can also click on the right side of your mouse and select the cut command by left clicking with your mouse. When you cut text out of your presentation, it will remove it. You can also choose to paste it back into your presentation anywhere you want. To paste your information, use your paste command or use the keyboard shortcut Control V which was discussed in the first part of this tutorial. Instead of selecting text in your placeholder, you can select your placeholder itself to cut or copy it. Again, when the placeholder is selected, you will see a dashed line. Once you left click with your mouse on the dashed line, it will change to a solid line. When you choose to cut, copy, or paste in a placeholder, it will paste it in the same position in your previous slide. This feature is helpful when you need to cut or copy a lot of information. The great thing of cutting or copying your entire placeholder is all your formatting will be pasted within your placeholder. We hope you enjoy this tutorial. We'll see you soon in another one.